We might be drunk, we might be drunk, as long as we are hanging out, you know we might be drunk. Raise a glass, let's talk shit, head peeps, Rex, and a bit, maybe drunk, we might be drunk, yeah. Hey, hey folks, here we are, the Patreon, the real fans, the real drunks, the real boozlers. I like that. Elaine Boozlers. I think that's going to stick. I hope so, because, you know, drunks is so basic. This is a little inside. Alkies, boozlers. Yeah. Problematicos. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do, but hey, we love you guys. We appreciate you. Quick shout out to the great, uh, late, great Louis Anderson. We go into more detail how much we like him in a later episode, but we just want to quickly say, man, a comedy great. So, oh yeah, so R. good. R. Watch his Carson set. It made his career. It was like a breakout set, and then he did a Killer Ferguson. You said, oh, he did like ten Fergusons. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, it's like crazy to think about. Guys at that age don't keep doing like late night sets. Yeah, they do panel. He kept doing sets, so it's like the dude knew how to structure an act. Very funny guy. Very funny panel. You ever interested in panel? I think it would be so much more fun than stand up. Really. Lower pressure. If you say something funny on panel, you're 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 in the same seat actors are in. Ah, good point. You're doing stand up. Every line better be a fucking home run. Good point. I mean, Bill Burr's panel. There's not much better than that. But again, he had Conan though, because Bill Burr was on Conan killing. Conan got it. Conan would feed him, and then he did Colbert at once, and it was a little awkward. Yeah, so, Colbert doesn't get comics like us. No, no, no. He's into like weird comics. He's into yeah. like he's like you better be like coming out with like a like a cat playing with string or some shit. Exactly. He doesn't want to hear like joke jokes. Yeah, yeah. And plus, I do, Burr is like saying crazy shit. I also just feel like Colbert is very much like like Conan knew how to like even if he disagreed with you, he knew how to roll with it. Yes. Like Conan would kind of be like, "What did you just say?" And that keeps it going because you're kind right. of. Even if you don't agree with it, you it's like a volley. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, Norm wouldn't be great on A lot of people are like, what are you talking about, you psycho? But Conan would play with it. Yeah, he would be smiling the whole time. Mm-hmm. Colbert would almost be like he's protecting his neck. <laughs> yes, exactly, which is not great comedy. No. We want to be out on the, on the tight wire. Now, Conan is a master straight man because, like, man, who doesn't love a straight man who could just take over and be the funniest person at any second? So Yeah, good point. Conan's good a point. man, dude. Love Conan. What, what is that there, Matt? What do, we, what do we have up there? We did a poll on Patreon for what we should name. Oh, fans, enablers. And enablers won. <laughs> the enablers. That's pretty good. Soberettes, get out of here. Drunk Arena. Regulars was a write-in request, too. That did pretty well. Oh, uh, Okay. Yeah, oh, enablers. they're regulars. That's not bad. Like a bar. He's a regular. Yeah, enablers is pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, good job, folks. Okay, let's go to some questions. You guys sent us questions at we might be drunk pod at Gmail. All let's right, here go we over go. over some of them. Uh, Munzer Hodaifa. Ooh, Mark and Sam, mouthful. it's a Rick and Morty question. Which one of the interdimensional cable TV shows is your favorite? I don't remember. I, I know the show. I'm trying to think of like. You got a list of those? Yeah. Are, are, there, <laughs> are there lists? I don't. I, off the top of my head, I don't have it. That's the beauty of the internet. All right. All right. Oh, this, these are going to be. Because these are great because they're jokes in themselves. Just the names of TV shows and whatnot. But uh, oh, you can't go to video. I don't know, dude. That's a, I mean, we might have to go to another question. I, this is might be too inside even for us. Yeah, take this shit over to Reddit. Well, yeah, well, what do you think this is? Huh? Uh, Comic Con? We don't know that stuff. Gage Hamilton. That's a porn star if I've ever heard Gage. one. Gage. Gage Hamilton. <laughs> Jesus. My name's Gage. All right, what leather jacket are you wearing right now, Gage? <laughs> yeah, right. He's cool probably, bracelet. Yes, that's what they call those hoop. You know those earrings that have a hole. A gauge. That's a gauge. Yeah. What I are didn't you know doing? I don't mean to sound old fashioned here, but what are you doing? Easy cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I agree. It's silly. It's you're ruining your ears. Mm-hmm. You only got one. Although I can tell progress because I saw a trans person the other day, and the trans person was pierced here, and I was like, "What's with the piercing?" <laughs> so that's progress, right? That's something. Yeah, and. The problem with those those loops, though, is they you take them out, and the ears dangling like an old pair of Florida tits. You know, it's, it's, it's like a six year old man's balls. Yes, exactly. For ears. 
It's it's funny to think that in old folks' homes, in like when we're old, it's gonna be like an old lady with a tattoo on her tits, uh, the gauges, weird piercing holes, back uh, tramp stamps in the old folks' home. Yeah, nothing good about a drooping uh, tramp stamp there. Yeah, yeah, that well, ain't where, good. Where you at on tats? I, I'm not a fan. I I mean, I'm not against them. If like, look, if if it works, it works. But like. I don't know. It's, I, I wouldn't get one, I don't think. I, well, I wouldn't get one either, but I feel bad because I wouldn't want my girlfriend or wife to have a ton, but I've had sex with gals who are covered in them, and that's fun. Yeah. It's a little vacation. It's a vacation. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want to live there, but you take a little trip. Right, Down right. And the tramp stamp lane. Yes. Sure. That way, this is fuck your sober fucks. Fuck you, sober fucks. How many felonies you got? Oh, this guy's hammering. Felonies? <laughs> Uh, first of all, if I had them, I don't think I'd uh, admit them live on a podcast. Yeah, that's true. But is he saying to? Is he talking to sober people, or are we the sober fucks? I'm confused. I don't. I mean, Matt Peters, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know because we're obviously drinking in every episode, almost. I think this guy's drunk. I when think he wrote so it. too. Fuck you, sober fucks. Maybe we're not drinking enough in the episodes. Yeah, thing. according to him, I'm surprised he got the. Uh, the the typos out like he he got the words the spelling right for a yeah. shit faced guy. 